Yes, the dead. Since when do you make noise, Mr. Fan? What is happening? What the fuck is going on? Why did that happen? y'all Sheboygan Killers is back for another video I just got done watching good times episodes four and five yes I double dip for y'all which means either this vid is gonna be a two-in-one or y'all finna get a double upload tonight because I'm recording both episodes right now green screens fucking up I don't know what the hell is going on with it I don't know what's wrong with it and I tried to fix it I don't give a shit we're gonna keep it going we're gonna keep it moving we can keep it pushing uh, I appreciate the support you guys have been showing the channel lately. I really do. The support's been next level. It's been crazy. And honestly, I really appreciate it. Y'all niggas got n have no idea. Episode 4 starts with the dad dreaming about fucking another woman. And it's revealed the apartment is flooded. The mom wakes up and then saves the dad by diving in fucking what's that do michael phelps style and it's events revealed the mom could swim they then start talking about how shitty the apartment complex they live and how terrible their landlord is i think the mom calls the landlord and then she says hey the place is flooded can you help she says well y'all niggas ain't paying y'all rent so till i get you my payment i ain't helping y'all with shit tough luck so the mom gets mad hangs up I think the mom hangs up. I don't even really remember what happened because this episode was so fucking boring. Listen here, y'all. These two episodes are so uneventful and so fucking boring. Episode three was subhuman levels of fucking garbage, and I hate that episode. I expected the worst, and to be honest with you, I almost, me and my audience on Twitch almost got put to sleep. These two episodes suck ass. It is so boring. The plot is non-existent in episode four. In episode five, at the end, they tried to change some shit up, but we'll see if it sticks. Fucking hair hang out my damn eyes. Saw that shit. The cockroaches are mad because it's flooded. The family is pissed and miserable. Oh my God, why is it flooded? What's going on here? This is no way to live. How are we gonna get all this water? Oh, the daughter! Ah! Ah! Menstrual cycle. Ah. ah, I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting war flashbacks. I'm getting PTSD. My green screen is still messing up, and it, it's like it's Xfinity is fucking up. I'm just mad right now, okay? So he leaves, and then he meets Dalvin, and you know that these two hate each other. The drug dealing baby. Why not just open the door and let all that water out? Unless the whole apartment is flooded. Why is so it's just their apartment that's flooded? Wait, okay, so why why don't they just open the fucking door? The whole apartment complex isn't flooded. Just open the door. Drug dealing baby, they curse out each other. I hate you. No, I hate you. And then he runs across a Tesla car while driving. Google it. <laughs> uh, wait, that sounds familiar. Who is that? Yes. Tesla. So then he challenges it to a race, Fred Flintstone style, and then he eventually beats the Tesla car. <laughs> what type of fast and fit? Why? Why? What is going on? Why is he turning into a damn Decepticon? Are you laughing yet? Is it funny? It's hilarious, isn't it? You see how slow my internet is? Yeah, it's like my internet doesn't want me to watch this trash. So after being the Tesla, he gloats. Ha ha, I win. Tesla fucks off. His knee's blown out <laughs> for some reason. This passenger gets the Tesla and he prays to Black Jesus. Black Jesus is like, I, right, I'm gonna help this nigga out. Why not? Let me work my magic. To me until I do something. Black Jesus, don't do it. No, Black Jesus. Don't right, help that nigga. Do it, just do it, just do it. No, don't do it, Black Jesus. And then Elon Musk. Why would you slap the white man that's gonna pay you money? Why would you do that? Hops into the back of his car. Oh wow, Elon Musk. Elon Musk uh, says that he's intrigued 
by the dad or whatever. The Tesla car pulls up, talks some shit, and then fucks off. Bitch. What? Why is that a CGI car? Elon then says, hey, you know, I want to hear about your story. Tell me about the story of your struggle. So he's like, okay, well, it's going to take all day. So many hours later, uh, after he's done telling Elon Musk about the story of him struggling. You gentrified the Underground Railroad? What? They then go to Elon Musk's crib, and then he tells the dad, hey, do you want to be my personal driver? Dad's like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to be uh, a driving Miss Daisy bitch ass nigga. Mustard says, I will pay you a thousand dollars, like per week. He's like, oh, well, all right, I'm gonna be a driver. I miss a connection. I don't know what kind of underground. Mm, mm -mm. Almost get thrown out the window in this show if it pertains to money. The family says, okay, how is this supposed to help us out? The daughter says, oh, Elon Musk is a terrible person. The dad calls her woke. <laughs> Which is hilarious. I'm not gonna let your woke ass ruin it for us. Woke ass. Yeah, I don't want to see the daughter on my screen ever again, but sadly, she's still hanging around. He then promises the family that him working for Elon will get them out of the projects and will help them move on into a better place. Does that happen? No. By the end of the episode, he loses his job and everything goes back to normal. Call me with Elon. Whoa, what type of. Elon makes the wife the head chef, makes the daughter um, leader of the social media market because her daughter wants to expose her. What would you like to do? No one gives a fuck. Fuck her. It's because of her, it took me until the end of the night to finally eat something. And he makes the son his head artist. Now, it's eventually revealed later that there's a reason why he's doing all this, and we'll get to it. He's calling it the Evans Experiment. He 3D printed their own apartment in his little house or whatever, you know, technological advancements. And then he says, hey, you guys can stay here. Zombies are chasing the drug dealing baby, but then he wakes up, he was dreaming. That shit is next level. Yes, kill him. Tries to call his mama, but she's not there. No, he tries to call his babysitter, but she's missing. She's fucking with a nigga or whatever. He then says, all right, I'm finna go see my mama because I'm scared. All right. You ain't scared of shit, nigga. The baby just said nigga. The drug dealing baby is scared. Okay. The daughter is trying to expose Elon Musk. He then gives her a cloud that is able to read her thoughts, and then she befriends the cloud. One person with good purpose can constitute the majority. What the fuck? Hit me. That's like pissy. Maturity. What the fuck is going on? What is, who is that? The dad says, oh, what are you doing? The son's trying to paint. Elon Musk thinks it's beautiful, even though he didn't paint anything. And then the dad's like, okay. And then he sends the dad on errands. Like, the dad becomes an errand boy. And he starts to become more and more pissed off. 50 rainbow LED lights. Jesus. I8 processor. Fuck is he trying to do? Build a PC? 64 gigabyte DDR8 RAM. 20 rolls of duct tape and a 50 terabyte. God damn, that exists? Squid guts. Mate who accepts me for who I am. Damn. <laughs> jet fuel. Fuck you need jet fuel for, bitch. Rolling paper. Well, toilet paper. Pig ears. I don't know what the fuck she needs jet fuel for, but pig ears? Okay. They then 3D print some food thanks to the mom giving him the recipe. I don't know why you would want to eat 3D printed food, but whatever. And so then eventually revealed that this is all an experiment by Elon Musk. Wait till you hear the explanation. Nothing has happened in this episode. Nothing, nothing is, I'm bored to fucking death. Nothing is going, what's happening? This is so boring. I'm actually getting mad. Why are you wasting my time? You're wasting my time and my audience's time. Where is the story? Where is the character development? What, what's the goals of the characters? Dad gets fed up and leaves. The baby's crying. A weird clown comes through and harasses him and leaves. I don't know what the fuck is happening. So Elon Musk then reveals 
that the reason why he has the Evans family in his house is because he wants to send them to Mars so the dad can repopulate the planet because he has something called the struggle gene since he's black and he's somehow surviving in the ghetto. We need Reggie to procreate and populate the red planet with strong people that can handle the rough conditions. What? Season. And he wants to take advantage of that or whatever. But then he's mad because the dad left and his plan's ruined, even though his son is right there. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates pull up and they're revealed to be villains that are conspiring with Elon Musk to try to capture the Evans family. They're evil witch white dudes. White man bad. That's pretty much the point. They then tell Beverly to call the dad, and if he doesn't come save him, uh, he'll kill them all. God, I wish that would happen. Drug dealing baby's crying. Dad comes through. He allows him inside. Mom calls him, say, hey, come help us. The white men are trying to kill us. And he just hangs up the phone because his battery dies. So he's like, oh, well, since he ain't going to come save y'all, we're just going to kill all of you. And then they turn into Power Rangers. <laughs> what? Nigga, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is... <laughs> it chase after the Evans family. The dad realizes the mom is in trouble and the baby comes with them. They then chase the family around. The baby gets strapped up. They're about to kill the family. And by the way, they can use anti-gravity guns. Gravity beam. Okay. All right, so just kill him. Just get up. Uh, okay. Uh, just do it again. They can't catch a bunch of niggas? Are you serious? The dad crashes in with the CGI taxi. <laughs> and then the dad and the son start shooting everybody. He then is glad to see his wife okay. He then fights Jeff Bezos and then whoops his ass and kills him. <laughs> what is the slapstick garbage? This animation is terrible. Why is he putting on his power suit? Why didn't he put on the power suit? Why doesn't Jeff Bezos put on the power suit to kill the dad? I don't know. I have no fucking idea. He kills Jeff Bezos. Elon Musk turns it into a spaceship. They then grab, get into the Tesla truck and then jump out and escape. And then Jeff Bezos flies into space. The drug dealing baby shoots a rocket and kills him. Yay. Black Jesus says something stupid. I don't care. Everything goes back to normal, goes back to the status quo. She tries to expose Elon Musk using the footage that she grabbed of him in the little headquarters. And then a homeless man bites the phone and it's gone. Short review, huh? Yeah. This episode was fucking garbage. It was boring as shit and nothing happened. It was terrible. On to the next episode. They have no hot water. Icicles are coming out. The mom puts on her Indiana Jones outfit and then climbs through a jungle gym, I guess. I don't know what's happening to find some hot water. She then loses her hat and then she uses a whip to retrieve it. And then she uses steel and lightning to ignite the icicles into hot water. She then accidentally spills some of the hot water onto her uh, neighbor. Yes, fall. Yes. What? No, don't do that. And it burns his face off. Yay, wonderful. The dad then says, hey, times is getting tough. We need hot water. The daughter says, you should try running for president and challenge uh, Yizma, <laughs> a.k.a. I forgot the character's name, the evil landlord. The mom then goes to the committee and then the dad whips the son. Why? I don't know. Yzma says that everything is fine, even though everything isn't. Like, there's no hot water. Er, the neighborhood's fucked up. She doesn't help people when they need it. And they make, keep making donut hole jokes. And she says, I'm pretty much going to run for president. And she leaves. Yay. Wonderful. The mom says that she's going to run for president. Which means that the dad is going to have to take over house duties. I wonder how well that's going to go. So then the cockroaches get sad because the dad's going to start cooking. 
the mom tries to start a fundraiser, but it doesn't work, and they get hits on her. And she's like, okay, what do I do? The daughter then says, in order to appeal to the nigger tree, you have to become a nigger. You have to appeal to all the degeneracy if you want to hope to even beat Yizma in this damn uh, election. So Yizma says, hey, we're all niggas, twerking, twerking. What is this looped animation that I'm looking at? Wow, degeneracy. Here we go. So we got half naked black women twerking their asses. Ah, ah. Black degeneracy making black folks look terrible. Fuck this show. The, the daughter tells her that it's time to get started and then she changes her hair. I fucking hate the daughter character. The dad and the son make a mess out of the apartment. The dad then mixes all kinds of chemicals together, it explodes, and they get high as shit. Oh, what? what the f- Are you laughing yet? I'm not laughing, this is terrible garbage. So then the mom starts appealing to the neighborhood, going everywhere, smoking weed with the thug niggas, appealing to single mothers. Look, look, single mothers, baby mamas, disgusting, come on, man. Where's the fathers? And then she starts gaining traction. Uh-oh, she comes home. Everything's fucked up, but she's seemingly going to win the election. Terrible, creepy campaign vid later. <laughs> she realizes, hey, I need to make a campaign video, but I don't have the money for it. They make a deal with the drug dealing baby to start a campaign, and she starts gaining traction. Yizma gets pissed because she might lose. She then puts a hit out on the mom's head. And he's smoking weed! Dalvin gets high, smokes weed, and then the floor great starts telling him that, hey, dude, your mom's about to be assassinated. He's like, thank you, wonderful. He then tells the sister that, hey, I was high as shit and the floor great told me mom's about to die. Please tell her to pull out the election. I don't want to lose my mom. And he said, you know what? Now nah, the sisters are walking out. I'm finna make sure my mama doesn't die. Dad and son scene later, the mom finds out and then she wants to do the election anyway. It's like she doesn't give a fuck about her personal well-being. You're about to possibly be assassinated and your kids might lose their mother. And you mean to tell me that you're still gonna go through with it anyway? Then they didn't make a Ku Klux Klan joke. <laughs> Why? I don't know. And then she says, baby, I love you. I'm going to be with you to protect you at that dumbass rally. The son meets with a ghetto owl and tells the owl to protect his mom. The election happens. Beverly starts gaining traction. She starts making great points. The hood starts to agree with her. Yuzma gets pissed. And then she it's revealed that the albino nigga, no, not me, that's me right there, no. The albino, she hired the albino in an attempt to kill the mom. Why is there a rat sitting there? I have no idea. She then, he then tries to kill the mother, but then the dad gets in the way and then gets shot in his ass. Yay. So for the rest of the episode, his ass is just up in the air like this. It's revealed that the mom did not win the election. I am so surprised because nothing fucking changes in this show. Every fucking episode has to fucking revert back to fucking the status quo and nothing changes. <laughs> she then kisses the, the dad. It's okay, everything's going back to normal. Yizma tries to put an eviction notice on the door, but the hood owl attacks Yizma. She then falls and breaks all the bones in her body that rats come through and starts devouring her. They then learn that Yzma's dead. They take a picture of it. And I guess the mom is not officially the new president of the projects. The son then flies away on the owl and the episode's over. So in canon, the Good Times universe, the drug dealing baby flies on the owl. These two episodes were boring, nonsensical, idiotic, a waste of time. I'm transparent right now. That's so bad. These episodes were fucking garbage. I almost fell asleep watching these two episodes. Fucking horrendously bad. 
Zero out of ten. Is it as bad as episode three? No. Episode three is still the worst episode in the series, but I really feel like I've wasted hours of my life that I'll never get back. Like, we, we just go nowhere. Every fucking episode, something crazy zany happens, and it's automatically reverted by the time the next episode rolls around. Horrible. Thankfully, this is a duo review, and I got I ain't got a lot of these episodes left to review. I am so fucking happy. Six down link in the description on my Twitch. 30 likes, I'm pretty sure, no, 50 likes. I'm pretty sure y'all can manage that. Once to 10K, hit the sub button, hit the like button. Make sure to comment something in the comment section. I don't give a fuck what it is, as long as it ain't disrespectful. I'm out. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Hit the outro. <laughs>